What's up? This is Square2448 with a Farming Simulator 17 hauling video, and today we'll be hauling this giant cat excavator over to the mining site so we can use it for mining for gold. And we are going to be using the old Mac semi truck to trailer it over there, and this is definitely one oversized giant excavator, so it's going to be one epic video. So let's hop in this and let's load it up. And we did actually have to order a custom low boy, which is extremely oversized so this will definitely be very interesting uh, driving through the streets without any escort vehicles anything kind of to help us so we'll definitely kind of line up here we'll definitely use the bucket kind of lift up and make it an easier transition for the uh, tracks up there and I believe that in the back we do have to do the same but before we kind of spin around we will actually raise up these stairs we definitely do not want those to get damaged and I almost damaged it right then and there so we definitely saved ourselves so we'll swing this around and we'll definitely use this but this is one giant excavator which just came out within the last few days and I'm very excited to use this because this is one epic machine so we are going to spin around and we'll definitely lower this bucket and this bucket is the size of us in this game and we'll definitely take a look at that at the end of the video but that is just how large this is and we are on the mining map since we are going to be hauling this over to the mining company. So let's start the Mac and get it attached. I have gotten a lot of requests lately for hauling videos. So I hope you guys are enjoying today's hauling this very heavy load. So let me know down below if you do have any cool hauling ideas. And I will definitely do them. Definitely back up here and looks like we aren't exactly lined up. Looks like we are now, and look at that. The engine is actually over the tongue of that almost, which is pretty bad because that puts a lot of weight on everything. But look at that, guys. We are almost pulling a wheelie trying to drive, so hopefully we do not run into any problems, and we almost just hit that person there. So we are going to have to take one wide turn, and I think that the truck will have to go up on the curb for this. So we do not have the trailer go up, and we took out the stop sign, guys. Looks like we definitely have to pay for a new sign. And we have traffic, guys. Take a look at that. This is going to be one tough challenge for us. So we'll definitely kind of back up here. We adjust just a little because I'm not exactly sure how we are going to kind of go through here with a lot of traffic, as you guys can see. But we are making it work. Look at that. Definitely very challenging. So let's make sure traffic is clear. Before we definitely cross this insert state, looks like it is. We are going across, and we definitely are going to have to kind of stay in the middle of the road and using a lot of braking power right here. And we actually kind of do have to go down the street. So we'll definitely kind of pull over here and have this vehicle kind of pass us. Definitely a little challenging because there's a few collision problems on this trailer but look at that guys we are hung up now on this because there's just kind of a car in our way but it looks like we are going around and hopefully we don't have too much cars overall though because this will definitely be even more challenging but we definitely kind of have to make do with it because there is traffic always on the road so we'll definitely kind of continue here and hopefully nothing goes bad and I don't really see any cars in ahead of us which is good but we'll definitely be doing a construction video very soon, kind of setting up and adding to that shop. And we'll definitely add this Mac. A lot of you guys have requested me to do that. And we are going at pretty decent speeds, almost 20 miles per hour, which is actually pretty fast for a heavy haul like this. And we are just leaving the town now, which means that we should have less cars and a lot wider roads for us, which will definitely be a lot easier. But on these uh, roads where we do have kind of a lot of lights and everything like that, we'll definitely kind of stay towards the middle of the road, especially on the bridge. So hopefully no cars are coming from the opposite direction. Looks like there are none. So let's definitely spin the camera view around and take a look at that. We got hung up here on these uh, bridges, which is a little frustrating. I'm not sure exactly why the collision is giving us a little bit of trouble, but... uh. Definitely very uh, challenging haul. Pull off to the side of the road, wait for this car to go by. And I think that we should definitely turn our uh, hazard lights on, but 
maybe we should call up a uh, pilot car for the next heavy haul. I think that would be very cool getting pilot cars. Trying to help us get through these streets would definitely be a lot easier instead of us trying to go through having to pull over every time. But we'll definitely back up and look at that guys. This excavator is larger than this whole Mack semi truck and we're barely making it past these lights almost kind of taking out the lights which is not good so hopefully we don't damage anything in the progress but we already did damage a stop sign but take a look guys that is one large excavator especially since it is taking up an extremely large size on this but are we going to make this turn we have to go all the way we kind of have to turn but we might have to make this like a three point turn because I'm not exactly sure if we are going to clear this bridge even if we kind of do turn so let's kind of see let's see we'll definitely take it very wide looks like we are going to clear which is very helpful instead of kind of re uh, going through but we do have a car so we'll definitely pull over and let this car go by and it's a lot easier just trying to pull over instead of pulling over on a narrow bridge which definitely would be very challenging for us to kind of squeeze through and possibly damage their vehicle and especially since like I was saying we do not want to damage any vehicle and if you guys are liking today's video let me know down below in the comments and if you do have any cool hauling ideas also let me know I'm always open to some cool ideas and I would like to thank you all for the continued support on all the daily content I really do enjoy uh, daily uploads here on YouTube and if you haven't already I do recommend you follow me over there on Instagram I do post pretty epic pictures over there but take a look at this guys we have to go up a hill which means we need momentum or else I don't think we'll be able to kind of get a good uh, speed just trying to just drive up it as we would but we'll come to a complete stop we'll make sure no cars are around and we'll definitely try to climb up this hill, but this will definitely challenge this Mack semi truck. But all the links to everything will be down in the description. I will have all of the links to all these public mods. And this trailer is an edit, but it is public. Take a look at this, guys. The front is jumping a little bit. Looks like we are going to lose a little traction, but we are definitely making it up. And this truck has some serious power. To make it up, up and we do have a very fast car coming oh we almost just collided with them which would have been very bad we actually have another one so it's a little uh, interesting how we are kind of are on some mountain roads and we have some traffic but uh look at this guys if you look over here that is like triple the height of what any load should be and we are definitely still doing a great job hauling but it uh, looks like we are coming up to the mining site now and I think that we'll definitely trailer it. Actually, we cannot trailer it underneath this bridge, guys. It would not even fit under this bridge. So that is definitely a new challenge for us. And it looks like we are kind of caught up on this bridge here. So let's kind of readjust. Looks like this is the same bridge that we kind of went over before. Just a little different uh, railing. So I think we'll definitely try to go down this road over here. I believe it is to the left. Kind of have to move. Looks like, oh, very challenging now. And I think we'll, we are going to have to back up. Kind of readjust. And he's pulling forward on us. That's not very helpful. Being a little impatient right there. But we'll pull over to the side of the road. And let's actually take a look, guys. I do not really want to drive down a dirt road, which doesn't look that strong. But we'll definitely take a look because we do not want it to tip. But... It looks like uh, we could actually go down this, so I would say let's give it a try, do a little bit of off-roading, but we could end up damaging everything, but we definitely have to cut through this grass just a little, and we could drop it off at the mining site, but we do need it down there where the gold is, so we have to kind of make our way over there, and it won't go underneath that bridge there. So we are going to have to go very uh, slowly and also monitor the load. Definitely very scary. I'm wondering if this thing will kind of tip, especially on this very sharp turn. Well, let's hope that it does not tip and turn. Look at that, guys. Looks like it's not going to, but we are definitely testing out this excavator, and especially this Mack truck, seeing how much this can take before it kind of cannot go any further. 
and it looks like now we are damaging the bottom of this trailer but like I was saying it would actually take a lot longer to kind of drive the excavator down these dirt roads than it would to even trailer so definitely a very smart decision and looks like the trailer sliding guys the trailer is sliding oh no are we going to crash let's hope let's go Ooh, looks like we are doing it this is one very scary moment for us guys we could definitely lose this entire excavator and roll it over so we definitely do not want to do that but we'll drive through here and we also kind of have to drive over here so hopefully we don't kind of tip into that water there but look at that guys we have a bulldozer we do have a cat and we do have an excavator here already for us so I think we'll kind of pull over here and definitely unload this thing we'll definitely pull up here unload and let's pull forward and I think we are definitely just going to kind of park the Mac up over there at the headquarters which is just over there so we'll definitely hop in this start up this awesome large machine and take a look at that guys we safely got this giant excavator over here to the mining company so expect some very cool mining videos with this and as you guys can see this thing goes very slowly so it's a good thing that we definitely did not just drive this down uh, just like this but we'll definitely kind of make it over there next to the bulldozer and then we'll definitely uh, move the truck back to the headquarters awesome so I think that uh, this is a pretty decent spot for us we'll lower the stairs down and hop out now when you actually hop out you hop out up here on this little platform which is awesome and you could walk all the way back here and go down the steps and let's see guys can we walk up the steps that is awesome we could walk up it right into it that is very realistic I really do like all that realism getting in getting out and all that cool stuff so we got this here we actually have to kind of start it back up lower this uh, arm down kind of take all the pressure off this and especially since uh, it might rain within the next few days we'll definitely turn the bucket to the opposite direction that way it does not collect any rain and possibly damage or even rust out this bucket so I think we'll lower it down like that that's perfect takes all the stress off and no water will collect inside there and take a look at this we upgraded from the Volvo to that giant cat excavator so we'll hop back in the Mac we'll start this up and I think that we might have a little bit of trouble kind of turning around here but I don't think it's going to be that big of a problem awesome so we got it hooked back up we'll definitely kind of continue here back up and we are definitely backing up into some dirt areas but I think that we'll overall be fine so today was an epic giant haul of this excavator here on the hauling series so let me know your thoughts should we do one hauling video a week let me know your thoughts on that and I'm always open to uh, video ideas so drop your ideas down below thanks for watching and subscribe for more